Recording. Check. We are now recording. Okay. <laughs> and I will go live to Facebook. There we go. It is now live on Facebook as well. All right, so let's just get started. <laughs> thank you for being patient, everybody. All right, um, so thank you guys for joining us. My name's Tamara Manley, a platinum leader with Young Living Essential Oils, and I am here um, currently with three um, other awesome members of our team. We have Michelle Hall, Mia Stampanato, and Katie Carco, and a few others will be joining us as the evening gets going. And we are just super excited that you um, are taking your time to be here with us to learn about um, non-toxic living and ways to detoxify your home with things that really work. And some of you are watching via Zoom. You registered for our Zoom webinar and you'll be getting a recording um, sent to you as well. And so there's a chat feature on Zoom. So if you ask questions or comments on the chat feature, if you're watching via Facebook Live, you know how to leave a comment on Facebook Live. But we're gonna be picking three um, winners of surprise raffle gifts for comments and questions. So if, whether it's in the chat or Facebook, it doesn't matter, but just comment and question away. And each time you do so, we'll give you an entry to win. Um, so I have too many tabs open on my computer. Okay. And there's Rebecca. We are now joined by Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm going to start first and I'm going to talk a bit about why right? Who cares? Why do we even want to talk about um, getting rid of toxins in our home? So in today's world, many of the most, some of the most dangerous things that can affect our health are things that we willingly expose ourselves to daily. Um, some of these things may not be what you expect. In fact, you might be completely oblivious. I know I was, I know all of us in here are presenting to you were at one point in time to the fact that many of the products that we use on ourselves, in our homes, on our children's, on our pets, um, on our skin, in our everyday lives could possibly be contributing to why we're sick, why we struggle emotionally, why we're not living a life full of wellness, purpose, and abundance. So we use products all day long that contain a variety of potentially toxic chemicals, chemicals like talc and bismuth and parabens and lead and mercury and mineral oil, synthetic fragrance. We use them all day long, right? And what's even scarier on one hand, it's awesome that more and more companies are coming out with natural and um, what looks like cleaner products, um, but you still have to be careful and look at the ingredients of those too. Uh, many things are greenwashed is what they're called. So they put a picture of a leaf and call it natural. Maybe there's a picture of a cow or a farm on it and you people just buy it because it looks good, but when you turn on the ingredients, not so um, necessarily so clean. Um, and we all wanna, we're here to share with you tonight and there is no judgment here. As I said before, all of us presenting tonight at one time didn't know all this information either and we're, continually learning as we go along. We still don't know everything, we're not experts, but we just choose to make better choices. Um, when you learn more, you do better. Um, so we're talking tonight about a company that we trust highly for these types of products, and that's Young Living Essential Oils. Um, they are an essential oil company, and that's how all of us got started using them. Oils to support our health, our, well, our health and wellness, our, all of our body systems, our emotions, our focus. Um, but in addition to that, Young Living offers a lot of essential oil infused non-toxic products that you can use in your home. So it's really becoming like a one-stop shop for all of our families to provide non-toxic items to use in our home. Um, this company is over 20 years old and we have uh, farms and distilleries all over the globe. Many of us presenting tonight are going to um, our convention in Utah in July, so we'll be going to one of their farms there, which is always super excited. Um, but we know when we use these products we're gonna be talking about tonight, that um, in addition to the essential oils, they don't have additional additives, fillers, synthetic fragrances, preservatives, all that gross stuff that we want to be avoiding. Um, and many times people will say, oh, but switching to non-toxic or plant-based, et cetera, is expensive. Um, and I'm glad that 
if you're thinking that, I'm glad because I used to think that too. And I know all of us in here thought that at one point as well. But we're also going to help debunk some of those notions um, that you can actually choose better products and save money at the same time by getting um, your own Young Living account if you don't have one yet, by using a program called Essential Rewards that Kelly's gonna talk about, by taking advantage of a lot of free products that Young Living gives away, by uh, making a lot of your own products that I know Mia and Katie for sure are gonna talk about tonight, um, as well as sharing with others. So um, without further ado, Michelle, okay, I'm gonna share this video. I am ready, I'm prepared. Um, it's gonna, Michelle uh, has pre recorded a video about a really awesome app called Think Dirty. One second, okay. It sounds risque, it's not. Okay, I have it. It's just one second, okay. It sounds risque, it's not. Think Dirty is an awesome, awesome app that will allow you to check the toxicity levels of your products that you're using in your home. Okay. There. Hi, I have a cool app for you today and it is free. It's called the Think Dirty app and it all started with uh, all the news, uh, bad things being in products and uh, doing a little shopping, shopping with my daughter, shopping with my, my husband or son and they want a certain product and uh, it turns out it's, it's really hard to know what these things are in these products. The lists are long. They're pretty uh, like another language. So, so this this app came along and it was great because you could actually scan your UPC code on the product and know what's in it. They give rankings and um, you know rankings such as six and above. Don't touch with a ten foot pole. Uh, rankings of three to five would be, you know, kind of need to do a little more investigation. There's uh, the environmental working group, www.ewg.com, and that, that site will uh, let you search on individual ingredients, and you can help, help yourself to understand why it got that ranking. And in some cases, if it's the last item in a product, then it, it doesn't have that much in it, so it's your judgment call. Um, but if it's zero to two, that's what I'm looking for. That's the sweet spot. So uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about what this app looks like. Uh, so I'll share my screen here and we can pop over to um, some screen prints that I did of the, um, hold on here. Here we go. Here's the Think Dirty app, what it looks like. Uh, there's over three, over a million products in there. And the good news is it's so easy, you just scan. So down at the bottom here, you can see this little blue box. There's a, you press that, that button down here, so you can see down here. And that will bring up a screen where you can put the UPC code under your phone and it will read it and come up with your product. Here's what it looks like right here. And then when you have the product that got pulled up, you can actually see every single ingredient. It's awesome. So here, there's a two. We're fine with the citrus, arantium, bergamia, whatever that is. Um, but nine, that'd be a little concerning. You can click on each of these items and get more detail. Um, and it keeps a history of what you've searched, so you can go back to that and reference it. And another one quick little thing in here is uh, you, you can actually go into your bathroom. It's great. Go into your bathroom and see what you have going on in there. You know, what, what products are you putting on yourself? There's probably about 300 products a woman puts on herself in the morning, every morning if you're actually putting makeup on and doing a full getting ready. So, cool. This app is awesome. And if... Well then here, if it turns out that this is too much, it's too much of a hassle to do that, well, guess what? Just Young Living has nothing bad in it. There's no phthalates, no sodium or sulfate, no parabens, so the search is over. So for me, I got to a point where I'm so done with the whole big search, uh, I can actually just grab the Young Living products, a lot of them we've talked about today, and um, and, and be done. And but one really cool thing, is on the Think Dirty app. 
So what we have is one of our friends has put together a website that has a, every single thieves product and how the ranking is, so based on each ingredient. So I'll put this in the comments, but it is uh, cheerfullyandperfect.com, and there's this, are thieves products really safe? And she goes and lays out all of the ingredients, and it's awesome. So, so enjoy. Enjoy your free little tip of the day. There we go. That was awesome, Michelle. Thank you for sharing that. And I'm glad you shared the Kirsten McCormick from Cheerfully Imperfect, that blog post, because that's an awesome um, resource for people to have. Um, very, very good. All right, next up is Mia Sapinato is gonna talk a bit about Thieves Household Cleaner, um, or and Household Cleaner and, and getting rid of your toxic, personal, your everyday, all-purpose cleaners. I'm gonna unmute Mia. Wait. Is mute. There you go. Okay. Are you, you at my double speaking? Because I have two screens open. I'm sorry. Speaking? Yeah, I you might need to open. close. Okay. Right now. Yeah. You might need to close. Okay. I think I closed it. Close. I think I closed it. Is it okay now? <laughs> it okay now? Feedback. So do you have, do you have, because the screen that we see your face on, is there another device down here? One of them needs to be turned off or stopped maybe. Or stopped maybe. I stopped. Or muted. Stopped it. So hopefully it'll work now. Stopped it. So hopefully it'll work now. We keep getting, um, why don't we, let's go to the next person and then we'll come back. Want to do that? Okay. Okay. We'll do that. All right. Well, next up is Michelle. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the screen recording here. <laughs> it's another video to share. Talking about, um, oh, now you see our whole lineup, our um, oral care products, the importance of getting rid of toxins in your Oral care products. There we go. Hello. Hi, Michelle. Um, so I'm going to get a little personal. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions here. Um, I'm just curious, what are you cleaning your mouth with? What are you putting in there to keep yourself kissable, huggable, you know, not scaring off your coworkers um, and, uh, and friends and stuff like that? So, you know, it, there's one thing to brush your teeth and floss and all that, but a lot of things I've found are absorbable through the cavity of your mouth. And of course we don't try to actually eat the toothpaste, but sometimes a little bit's gonna go down and over time and a couple different brushings during the day. I'm sure that it's gonna add up. So um, there's some products that we have that I'll like to share with you. And, um, but the thing is, is the, um, the FDA, has not actually given a good definition about what natural is. So there isn't any regulation around that. They can claim natural on their products and we don't know what's actually in them. Um, for example, the FDA has banned triclosan too. And that used to be something that was proven to be effective for antibacterial and it was removed. But now it's turning out that it's still in our toothpaste, it's still in our mouthwashes, our whiteners, our deodorants, and our um, just basically a whole bunch of product, products. So, you know, the message is know what's in your ingredients list for your, what you're putting in your mouth. Um, and just explain that one to me. How does that work? How do we end up having that stuff that's already known to be bad that's removed from our hand soap and it's in our products that we put in our mouth. So, um, shocking, really. Um, but I can guarantee you that none of the products from Young Living that we'll talk about here have any of those bad things in them. It's um, the search is over. So what I'd like to show you is a little bit of um, a comparison of some of the toothpaste that we have, a side-by-side -side comparison right here. 
All right. All right, so here we go. There's three types of toothpaste for adults, and there's one for kids. It's awesome. It's the Kid Sense. Here we go. Um, toothpaste. And it's got a little bit of a, a, a little sweet flavor through stevia, so there's no sucralose, no actual sugar in it, uh, which is really not what you want to have for kids when you're trying to actually brush their teeth. And what what I, I found and I use is the Steve's Aroma Bright toothpaste because it, it is a combination of the uh, Steve's Dentrum Ultra and the Steve's Dentrum Plus. Um, combining, you can see down here, there's both the calcium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate baking soda. So we've got whitening that's going on. We've got um, no fluoride dyes or preservatives and a uh, refreshing flavor. So you can end up with some brilliantly clean teeth and um, be very humble. All right, so let's also look at the floss. This floss here is awesome. It's, it's like double coated once with Thieves. Now Thieves is very powerful, um, you know, carefully crafted, mixed blend. It's got clove, cinnamon bark, lemon, uh, wait, what is it, lemon, rosemary, eucalyptus, and it's double dipped, and, and peppermint is also the second dip of this. So as you're flossing, I'm not going to show you flossing, uh, it's, it's actually very refreshing, and it's easily glided, it glides through very easily, and it doesn't fray. And the other ingredient here, or other product here that is awesome, is the Thieves um, mouthwash. You know, when you use these soft mouthwashes, you don't just put it in and spit it out. You do about 30 seconds, let it, let it do its job. Um, and along with that, you can also do, you know, get the brace as well, any sort of mouth guards, they can get cleaned uh, as well. And uh, here's the new, this is what I use. I use the Aroma Bright toothpaste. It's a very refreshing flavor. And uh, yeah, so one more toothpaste hack. Some people are actually, Using this is deodorant, believe it or not. A lot of people are, they're trying this and it's working. So I have not tried it yet. Um, because we also do have a cool deodorant that I like from Young Living separately. So, uh, you know, in a pinch, you can use this as well. And uh, your gums and teeth will benefit from using the Young Living mouth products. So I hope you enjoy this and uh, check out uh, the Think Dirty app and see what your products, how they match up. All right. Bye. All right, stopping sharing again. Okay, now we're back to normal. Okay, here we go. And let's go, let's try Mia again. Sorry, I have all these videos open now. Um, all right, let me see. Unmute, I need to unmute you. No, I can't find you. There we go. All right, there we go, Mia. <laughs> Works, <yay. laughs> Well, as Michelle mentioned, there's so many wonderful ingredients that go into the Thieves um, line, and they're all based on our Thieves essential oil um, that goes back to the story of the, the thieves that uh, were actually the robbers that were going into the homes of the people that had the plague, and they were spice traders, and they had many of the um, essential oils mentioned uh, in our blend that they found that they could make these little uh, bandanas um, and go into the homes and do their, their pillaging. So that story was uh, found many places and uh, Gary Young, um, during his own research, was intrigued by that story. So that's our, our story behind our Thieves line. Um, our Thieves household cleaner, um, many of you received the Thieves household cleaner in your kit and have thus um, gotten hooked on Thieves household cleaner. It is incredible, it's very economical, it's highly concentrated. Most of the cleaners that we buy are mostly water. So the Thieves Household Cleaner um, is very concentrated. You are only going to be using a cap of the cleaner to an entire bottle of water. So it's very, um, gonna. you get a lot of bang for your buck. You can make um, bottles for less than a dollar, depending on your concentration, depending on what you're cleaning, you are going to get about 20 bottles 
could be 30 bottles, depending on what it is that you're cleaning. For general cleaning, I use a cap. If I'm washing windows or mirrors, I'm going to use half a cap. I'm not going to make it as strong when I'm blending it too. So I'm going to put some links in the comments of different concentrations that you can use for general cleaning. Um, because it's plant-based, you can also use it for washing your dishes. So I kind of use that as a little um, boost when I am cleaning pots and pans and whatnot. Um, in a pinch, you can even use it to wash clothes. You could use it in your dishwasher. Um, so you can use it on just about anything. I, I tell a story of um, one of my students, Elias, when he first started in my class, um, he was almost three years old and he sneezed on me, like on everywhere on my body that could hold sneeze, it was on my body. So what did I do? <laughs> I reached for my thieves, I hit like the, the dad in my big fat Greek wedding and I just sprayed myself down. You know, I knew it was something that uh, I could grab and I could safely put on my body and didn't get sick. So um, in a pinch, I reached for the thieves. I like to fill little bottles of thieves. I make my big bottle and I have, these little bottles everywhere. I keep them in my car, I keep them in my desk at school, and I keep it handy. And then when you're out and about, especially in my car, I use that one all the time. It could be spilling something in my car, but it could also be touching something that I don't want on my hand for my 35 minute commute. So I can spray it and use it and know that, you know, it's there with me too. So um, you can use it to clean your every part of your bathroom. Um, you can mix it with baking soda and make a little paste to use like a soft scrub and kind of get any built on gunk out of things too. So um, you can purchase the Thieves Essential Reward Pack, um, which is a great bargain um, to get kind of get your stock refilled. I use two of these bottles the entire year. So um, it, it really is a good value. Um, you can also buy a Thieves Premium Starter Kit. So either for yourself, if you're just getting started, or for a spouse, that's a great way to get a value. And then if you're adding on for someone else in your family, you're getting that $50 thank you check from Young Living, and it makes it even more economical. So I'm going to add some um, breakdowns of the, the bargain there, and I thank you for your attention. Now we'll just let you roll right into. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I got I got to get my props though. Me and my props. I love the story too about the sneeze. I think that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> he, he since Lynn learned how to uh, do the Montessori cover there, so we don't have those issues. <laughs> so. I'm going to talk to you now about two other Thieves um, products, the Thieves dishwashing soap and the Thieves dishwashing powder. This is the one that you use to hand wash your dishes. Depending on how you like to wash dishes, you can use it straight from the bottle. What I like to do if I'm going to use it straight from the bottle, I will pour some in, the in an empty bottle. So if you don't have an empty bottle, just throw it in a mason jar. And then I add water and a little baking soda and I shake it up because I like a little bubble. So the baking soda helps to give you the bubbles rather than crazy chemicals that we don't wanna be putting on our dishes. So this is a natural way that we can get bubbles. This way you can put a little in your sink, wash your dishes, and then you're done. Um, the other way of doing it is taking an empty foam bottle and you put a little inside, put a little bit of your thieves dishwashing liquid and water. And then I put my brush under it and I pump and I use that to clean my dishes. That, that's my favorite way of doing it. So one bottle will make like three to four bottles like this or like probably like 25 bottles of this. So it's, it's very economical and it's great for cleaning your dishes. If you have something that is really stuck on your plates, I actually keep a spray at my, ta at my uh, sink also. So I'll kind of spray something and then I'll, if something's greasy and then I can use my um, Thieves dishwashing liquid. But I love it and it cleans everything so well and you don't have to worry about having all those blue chemicals uh, sitting by your sink that you can find for 99 cents, but it's definitely not worth it in the long run. Um, the other product is the Thieves dishwashing powder. Um, this is great. We live in a very old house. We moved into the house 19 years ago we inherited the dishwasher when we got the house 
it's still working and we hate to replace it because we, we know it was built well. So who knows how old that dishwasher is? It's still working and it loves Steve's dishwashing powder. So what um, I do is there's a little cup, a uh, little scoop that comes inside and I put a little um, baking soda, a little splash of baking soda right at the bottom of my um, dishwasher depending on who washed the dishes. If it was me, I wash them so well that they go in there that you could eat off them. If my teenage daughter washes them, I sometimes throw a little vinegar in my, in my dishwasher just for good measure. But this works great. And again, I don't have to worry about eating off a plate that has something in it that uh, is, is not safe for me and my family. So that's what I have. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. I love the hack too of like extending it and adding the water and the baking soda. So many of the products are so concentrated, they can really go a long way. That's awesome. Now, now Stacy, you're going to talk about um, soaps. Soap, bar soap, hand soap, all of the soap that we're putting on our body and our skin, absorbing all day long. All right, here's Stacy. Okay, so like Tamara said, I'm going to be talking about the bar soaps today. Uh, the bar soaps are a great way to swap in to use something that's non-toxic on your body because your skin is your largest organ. So I think that that's just a great way to go ahead and if you're going to start using something different, that's a great way to start just because it makes such a big difference since your skin is your largest organ. Um, there's no parabens, no phthalates, no petrochemicals, um, no sulfates, no synthetic dyes. Um, no fragrance. There's there's nothing in there that's going to harm your body um, in the Young Living bar soaps. Um, what I love about the bar soaps is that they don't get mushy. Can you hear me? I, I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> I was hearing talking. So what I love about the bar soaps is that they don't get mushy when you use them. Um, some other natural soaps, they have a tendency to get mushy and dissolve really easy when you're using them. <laughs> Not sure what that was. That wasn't me. <laughs> so the bar soaps, they don't get mushy when you use them. They last a really long time, so you get your you get a lot of value out of um, the Young Living bar soaps. There's I counted them. There's like there's ten different kinds that you can use. There's there's lavender um, and oatmeal for exfoliating and for relaxing. There's um, other ones like this morning start right here that has um, some peppermint in it. Um, there's the men's line, the Shootron, that, that's excellent. Um, it has, let me see here. The Shootron has um, activated charcoal in it that's great for deodorizing. Um, and then I love this right here, the charcoal um, bar soap. It's great for, for teenagers. It's great for acne, oily skin. Uh, it's great for athletes. Uh, so if you're going to be doing a lot of training and you want something that's easy just to throw in your gym bag, that's a great one to go ahead and use too. So there's so many options as far as uh, soaps that you can use, and they're all infused with essential oils, so they smell, um, you know, they smell great, and they're not toxic. So it's, it's like I said, it's a great way to start. Awesome. I love the charcoal bar soap as a body soap too. It's awesome. Yeah. I like all the soaps. It's like, fla I like flavors of candy. I just love them. <laughs> um, so Katie, Katie's going to go up next and she's going to show you. So we're talking tonight about a lot of Young Living products that can help you detox your home, but you can also make your own products as well. And some people love DIYing things and some people don't. Um, so there's options for everyone. And so Katie's going to share um, some cool recipes for you. All right. You are, you need to unmute. there you are. Hey everyone, can you hear me? So I am going to make um, DIY bug spray. Young Living, in case you don't know, has their own insect repellent. Um, however, I ran out because I've been outside so much lately. Um, but it's a great oil, it smells good, and it really works. Um, but I do have a little spray option, which is great. Um, the Young Living is an oil-based, um, strictly oil, so you have to kind of rub it in like a lotion. Um, but this is great if you want to spray it, spray it on your clothes, if you want to spray it on like a tent or a sleeping bag or any of that stuff. Um, and it works really well. So what I'm going to do is I have um, my eight, um, no, 
four ounce bottle. Um, usually I have it in a 16 ounce bottle, but for tonight I'm just using um, a four ounce. I'm gonna go ahead and put a splash of witch hazel, and I'll put the um, recipe down in the chat. Um, you're gonna wanna do, I do a little bit, a little splash in there of the witch hazel. Um, for the four ounce bottle, we're gonna go ahead and put 10 drops of the citronella, which is right there. Smells wonderful. Um, I use this actually on its own outside. So let's do one, two. Okay, so 10 citronella. And then you do eight drops of the peppermint. And this smells really good too. It takes the bugs away, but it smells good. Okay, so peppermint has eight. You put eight drops of lavender in there. And then lastly, I put eight drops of the purification. Now again, I am using the smaller bottle. Um, if you do the larger spray bottle, you'll be putting a lot more drops in there. Okay, so that's that. And then you're gonna wanna fill the rest of it up with um, distilled water. I keep my distilled water in my old Ningxia red bottles, keep them close to my diffuser. And then with a small little funnel, just fill it on up. Put the spray on top. You can put a label on there, anything you want, just shake it up, and then spritz. And there you go. And that's your little travel. I keep it in the car. Um, like I said, I like to spray it all over because I hike and stuff, but um, it's a great little way to take it with you, share with everyone else. So, um, Oh, benefits, I will say, um, I like this so much better than the store-bought. Sorry, guys, but um, it doesn't have DEET. DEET can be um, really harsh for the body. Um, this stuff is really good for sensitive skin. You can use it on anybody, pregnant women, um, kids, and um, you're not gonna have to worry about any side effects. So it's safe for everybody. You could probably even spray it on the dog too. Okay, and that's that. And I'll put the recipe down um, in the comments. Thank you, Katie. That was awesome. I appreciate that. I love homemade bug spray. It works really well. <laughs> it and it smells good too. It does. It does. Um, someone was asking in the, in the comments, uh, what would be a good substitute? She only has a starter kit. Um, and while I'm, purification doesn't come in the starter kit, or currently, unless you've got an old starter kit. Um, let me mute you, Katie. Sorry. Um, it works really well because it has uh, citronella in it. And I actually use purification on a recent trip because I forgot my bug spray. <laughs> I was just putting it on. Um, but peppermint, bugs don't really like peppermint, but they do like lavender. Um, so I wouldn't use that. Okay, Rebecca. Rebecca is going to share with us the um, Thieves, the Veggie Soap and Spray and talking a little bit about um, pesticides on our produce. So I'm going to unmute you, Rebecca. Would you take it away? All right, go okay. ahead. So uh, the importance of washing your veggies and uh, your fruit and vegetables when you bring them home. Um, and eat, I'm talking even if they're organic vegetables, you still get those chemicals, there's still toxins and stuff inside our soil worldwide. We can't get away from it, unfortunately. But when we do bring them into our homes, we wanna be making sure that we are, stopping any kind of other bacteria or um, eat any kind of bacteria causing stuff, viruses and stuff like that. Um, like salmon, salmonella, 
if I'm saying this right, Listera and E. coli are on our vegetables, whether they are organic or not. So the importance of using our Thieves Veggie Wash will help wash away all of those bacteria um, and eliminate harmful pesticides that might have been used. And it doesn't take that much. This bottle I've had for quite some time now. And anytime I'm bringing veggies in, all it takes is about two capfuls in a gallon of water and I let my veggies soak for a few minutes and rinse them off and any kind of um, waxy substance that might have been on the apples or bananas or whatever it might have been, um, rinses right off with it. Um, I've also recently learned that I can put this in, oh nuts, I forgot it. My, one of my little spray bottles and dilute it with a little bit of water and put it in my kids' backpacks for school. So at school, if they happen to go get an apple or something from the cafeteria, they can sit there, spray off their apple, wipe it away, and they've got a, a, a pure apple that doesn't have any pesticides or any kind of chemicals on it that will be harming their body. Uh, let's see. That's what I had on the veggie wash. <laughs> um, I personally, I like, I, I really enjoy using it. I know that it's um, with my own immune disorder and stuff, any kind of extra help I can get my body in order to be getting the nutrients and things that we all get from vegetables, it's going to be helpful. And I used to use just vinegar or hydrogen peroxide and sometimes it made my veggies taste a little funky. So I've never noticed my veggies tasting funky with thieves. So thank you, Young Living, for that. <laughs> um, let's see. You're going to talk about laundry next. Laundry. Yeah, I was like, where, where am I going? Laundry. Okay, I started using um, Melaleuca products about 20 years ago for my laundry care because they were water soluble. Um, they washed through the clothes. They weren't like sticking to the material of my fabric, all of that stuff. I thought they were great until I started doing more research and come to find out Mela Power, which is the, the, the laundry detergent is an F in a grade. It has, uh, let's see, where's my notes on it? There we go, F grain. It causes and, and hurts your respiratory system with even, this is the fragrance free, by the way, that I looked up. Um, it causes developmental and reproductive toxicity. It causes cancer and it's not good for the environment. And those were reasons I thought I was using a wellness product that was going to be helping my family come to find out it's actually harming my family. Um, it has um, DNA damaging um, chemicals in the product and causes cancer. So when I made the switch over to Young Living, that was one of the first things that I got was their laundry detergent because, and dryer sheets went out the window too. Didn't stop using dryer sheets. Instead, I use um, dryer balls with essential oils on it. And the great thing about that is I'm not limited to a package of 500 dryer sheets. Oops, excuse me, lost my notes. A package of 500 dryer sheets with only one scent. I have like eight dryer balls, and a couple will be citrus fresh, and a couple will be lavender, and a couple will be purification, and, and whatever I'm in the mood for, I get to change it up with every load of laundry, whatever it may be. So I, I actually enjoy that much better than um, dryer sheets. But laundry, we all do laundry, all of us. <laughs> Some of us more than others. Me, probably 20 loads a week. I mean, it's just insane. So. With that being said, this laundry detergent 
removes all the smells, all the bacteria, anything that might be on my clothes from, I've noticed even putting a little bit on a stain, getting a little toothbrush and like rubbing it out, it will remove my stains on my clothes. I found that it's amazing. It is concentrated. So there is a little tip on how to get the most out of your um, detergent is um, you get an empty bottle, whether it be one of Young Living bottles or not, you can use your own, and you get just about a fourth of the um, laundry detergent here, and then do a fourth of water in the same bottle. And I would say put the water in first and then this, because otherwise it's gonna bubble up a little bit. Um, and then do a capful of the Thieves Household Cleaner, inside that same container and then four drops of lemon and you kind of just mix that around and you use i don't know if you can see oh, let's, let's do this here's the cap of the laundry detergent and i only use about half of this bottom part of the cap per load and i'm not a when i do laundry i don't just put in, you know, five t-shirts and two pairs of pants. I pack my machine to the max because I don't want to do any more laundry than I have to. So I just like cram it in there, <laughs> barely get the door shut, <laughs> use my half a cap and I've, all my, all my clothes come out very clean. It's amazing. Um, it's 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 surprising to know that some of the the harmer um chemicals that's in laundry soap like sls it's in detergent so for the foaming it gets in your eyes it's toxic for you it disrupts all kinds of stuff in your body and so switching this out has made it really easy oh and by doing the um little DIY with the soap, this laundry detergent will probably last you two to three months, maybe longer, depending on, you know, what your usage is and stuff like that. For me, I think it probably, probably about two months. Sometimes I might be able to stretch it, but about two months is about, is, is, as long as I've gone without, um, doing it. Little side note, I did run out and I thought, oh, I'll just use, my old Melaleuca laundry detergent, you know, use it up or whatever. And I had done a load of laundry and I opened the door. And again, this is scent free. I opened the door and when I opened my <laughs> washer door, I was like, oh, and immediately got a headache from the smell of it. And to, at, at that point, I was like, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. This is ridiculous. This is if I can't even open my laundry door without getting a headache, then there's absolutely bad stuff in it um, and had to rewash my clothes again. <laughs> so I wouldn't advise doing that. Just get rid of it. <laughs> Just get rid of those toxins from your household and, um, and you'll, you'll do much better. I know health wise, you know, your, your clothes are on your body. Your skin is your largest organ in your whole body. And if you're using chemicals like Tide or, you know, even all, nat all natural, what I thought I was using, Melaleuca, you're still getting those toxins and stuff inside your body. So you got to be very careful about that. Um, the next thing I was going to talk about was um, air fresheners and candles. Now, air fresheners are the worst culprits of respiratory dysfunction and the whole fragrance um, compounding ingredients and they don't have to be listed because it's considered fragrance and thus it's a trade secret. So you know, whenever you see that word fragrance on any of your products, you should be very careful, very, very leery of bringing that into your house. Um, not only to your safety, but your visitors, your animals, your children. Um, and I looked up 
a few air fresheners um, for breeze was one of them, Airwick was another, and a lot of them have something called naphthaline in their products, which is, it causes tissue damage. Even though you've got it plugged into the wall or whatever, you're still smelling in these toxic fumes that are destroying the tissues in your body, in your brain, in your eyes, in your, um, and, and all these air fresheners and stuff are also causing um, headaches and asthma and skin irritations. And even if you're not spraying them on your skin, you're spraying for breeze in the air. It's landing on items in your home you're touching quite frequently. So um, you're risking your health, you're risking the health of your family, your friends, your pets. Um, and all of them are causing cancer these days. A lot of these um, ingredients, and you can look them up on the Think Dirty app, like Michelle had mentioned. Um, I looked it up on something called, oh, what was it called? Um, no, I exited out of it. Um, there's there's several other online sources where you can look up ingredients and um, almost all air fresheners were a D and an F. So they're just extremely harmful for you and your family. Instead of using those air fresheners, you can use a lovely diffuser like I have going back here. Um, I diffused last night in my kitchen. Um, I diffused lime and spearmint together. It was very refreshing, it was uplifting, it smelled clean. Um, I've also diffused peppermint and orange together. Um, lavender for, um, I have a, a small, it's, a, it's not aerosol, but it's a canister um, that you can put essential oils and water in and you shake it and you can spray it on your bed or anything like that and I've done Lavender for sleep, uh, purification. Um, we have cats, and so we have a cat box. So I have one special just for when the cats go. <laughs> I spray purification, and it immediately neutralizes those smells in my home. Um, a friend of mine, she does Pedigrain, Ped yeah, Pedigrain Joy, and Neroli, and she says that is such an effect uplifting scent in her home. It smells clean. She uses it like on her clothes. If her clothes have been in her closet a while, or, you know, that jacket in the back that you'd go for, and you're like, oh, I can't wear that. She sprays it on that and it, na it will naturally deodorize um, clothes, makes you smell good. It's an up uplifting feeling. Now, if you're in the bathroom and you, you know, have bathroom smells, <laughs> um, Christmas spirit is really good at neutralizing those bathroom smells and um, also bringing some calm and peace to your <laughs> to your um, life. So those are all better options than using these these chemicals and these products that are causing cancer, um, respiratory issues, and things like that. So there's better products out there. And they're right here and you can get them right now <laughs> um, at Young Living and start making a change in your own homes and for the better health of your family. Thanks Rebecca that was awesome. So much information and what a crazy story about the, the laundry. Um, thank you for sharing. Katie has another DIY for us, another hack you can do at home. So I'm going to unmute her so she can share that with us. Go ahead, Katie. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm going to be sharing with you how to do your own um, foaming hand soap. Rebecca hinted already and shared a lot of her um, recipes and different scents with the air fresheners and all. Um, you can definitely use those in the hand soaps. Um, so what I have currently right now is the lavender hand soap, um, except I make my own after I um, use it all up, um, especially when I don't remember to reorder more of this. So um, 
You can buy these on Amazon, these bottles. Um, they're eight ounces and uh, you can use them for um, face wash, hand soap, like Mia said, for the Thieves dish soap. Um, these are great bottles. You can really use anything in them. Um, and it helps dilute the product very nicely. Um, so with this, um, again, I did say I did save it. And what you do is um, I have, it's called Dr. Bronner's um, Baby Unscented Castile Soap. I use this as the base of my soaps. So I would measure out a quarter of a cup and pour it into this bottle. Then I would go ahead and since I'm doing lavender, I would add um, about 15 drops of my lavender to this bottle. And then I would fill the rest of it up with the distilled water. Um, you're more than welcome to put a tablespoon of fractionated coconut oil um, for an extra moisturizer. Um, I know people have added uh, vitamin E oil to help with that as well. Completely up to you, you can't mess it up, anything works. Uh, for the kitchen, I've used lemon, I've used purification. Those of you who don't have purification um, or haven't bought it yet, you can use the Citrus Fresh, that smells great. If you wanna go wild, you can get you know some lemon and rosemary. Um, peppermint's great for the holiday time. Um, one that's really good is Thieves and Peppermint. It comes in your starter kit, mix it together. Everyone just loves it. Um, and that combination is actually really good for room spray too. Um, it was actually hit at our holiday party. So those are just some ways to make your own um, hand soap. And so I can put that in the comments. Okay. Thanks, Katie. That's awesome. I love making my own hand soaps. It's so easy. And the Castile soap makes it mm -hmm. like totally easy to do. The kids like picking up their It's fun. <laughs> I love it. Um, thank you, Katie, for sharing that. Okay. So I am going to talk a little bit about essential rewards. I know that a few, a few people have mentioned essential rewards before. Mia mentioned the uh, Thieves Essential Rewards Kit. Actually, I have some notes about that. Um, let me talk a little bit about what Essential Rewards is. Um, if you are a Young Living member, even if you're not, this information <laughs> is good for you too. <laughs> so Essential Rewards is a great way to save money. Um, I like to say Essential Rewards is the best thing since sliced bread. I think it is a kind of call it Young Living's best kept secret, even though it's not a secret. Um, I also say if you brush your teeth, you should be on essential rewards <laughs> because you're leaving a ton of money on the table if you are not. And essential rewards is Young Living's auto ship program. It is optional and it is amazing. You get discounted shipping, you get points back on your purchases, and you get qualified. You you get qualified for certain promo levels in um, with Young Living's monthly promotions. So let's see. What do I want to say about this? Okay. So the thieves kit we talked about earlier. That includes. And I made a comment in the comments, but not all y'all can see the, the the comments if you're watching on Facebook. Um, thieves kit is an easy button. If you are looking to completely detox your home, like right now, like I threw everything away. Like I, in one day, <laughs> I was like, I got to get it out. Now what do I do? And so for me, something like a thieves kit would have been really helpful. <laughs> um, so you can buy uh, these products are in the thieves kit. You get the thieves essential oil blend in 15 mil. You get uh, Aroma Bright toothpaste. I believe there's two in there. Um, I may be not, I, am, I may be wrong. The Thieves House Cold Cleaner, two bottles of that. Foaming hand soap, two of those. The Thieves mouthwash, the hand sanitizer, you get two bottles of that. And you get the one ounce Thieves spray, which is like Thieves cleaner in a tiny little one ounce bottle. Um, so it is a, this kit, um, is bundled together for you to easily replace uh, products in your home and detox detoxify your home. So it is a very smart way to order on essential rewards. Instead, I mean, you are likely spending 
50 to a hundred dollars on um, things that you use in your home, soaps, toothpaste, cleaners, um, mouthwash, uh, dish soap, laundry soap, I mean, on and on and on. So um, you can now, and say, I, I like to say anything I can get at Target, but get at Young Living, I get at Young Living. And so it has totally um, re, I, it is, what was I trying to say? I was, Target doesn't give me 10, 20 or 25% back. I'll get to that in a second. Um, they give me 5% back. So anything I can get at Young Living for my home, I do. You spend a minimum of 50, 50 PV per month. That is the requirement to be on essential rewards. It is a great way to transfer by all of your items. Um, that means if you don't want to do it all at once at a thief's kit, decide next month you're just going to do oral care and swap out all of your oral care. Um, every time you order on ER, your order will receive between 10 and 25% back. That way you basically get money back when you spend money on essential rewards. I just bought a whole bunch of stuff using my points last month because I forgot to order it. And I'm sorry for all the dingy, 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 ding. So also, I love this, a little personal hack. If you pay with a credit card that gives you cash back or um, airline miles, you need more bonuses, which is awesome. So when your central reward order reaches 100 PV or 190 PV, you'll receive the monthly promotions for free. So even more oils or products for free. So, um, oh, the other perk is you get loyalty gifts, three, six, nine, and 12 months. And then every 12 months after that, being on the program, the Young Living sends you a thank you gift. And it is really an awesome, awesome program. Everyone here tonight is on the Essential Rewards program. Everyone um, shouts its blessings from the rooftop because Essential Reward is a huge blessing um, in my family. Um, so what do we got coming up next? Let's see here. I gotta go back. <laughs> oh, okay. Tamara, Tamara is going to even talk about if you are not currently started with Young Living, Tamara is going to tell you how to do that. And if you are currently started with Young Living and not on essential rewards, it is easy to do in your virtual office on the left side, you'll see essential rewards and it'll walk you right through it. You can change your order every single month and uh, you get to pick your day and you get to pick your stuff. So it's awesome. Definitely try it at least one time and then you will always be on it because it's awesome. Okay. Enough time. Come here, turn. <laughs> All right. So, um, that was awesome. <laughs> yep. <Come on>. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, so for, uh, Sensory Rewards is a great way to detox your whole home and get all these amazing essential oils. But in order to be able to get on a Sensory Rewards at all, um, you have to have a Young Living account. So the first thing, so for those of you watching who do not yet have a Young Living account, there are um, a couple ways that you can do so. And we're going to put the sign up links for all the lovely ladies that are helping with this event tonight for all of you guys that are interested. Um, but basically you choose a kit, a starter kit. And most people choose a premium starter kit that has 12 oils, a choice of diffuser, I don't want to tip my, um, a bottle of Thieves hand sanitizer, a bottle of Thieves spray, some Ningxia Red samples, um, a really great, great way, yep, Rebecca's showing it, a really great way to um, just really get all the oils and uh, diffusers in your home. There are some other options, and I'm going to talk quickly about the Thieves Premium Starter Kit, just in interest of what we've been talking about tonight. Um, the Thieves Premium Starter Kit has a bottle of the Thieves blend. It has toothpaste, mouthwash, two Thieves cleaners, two hand soaps, two Thieves sprays, two um, hand sanitizers, a stress away, another essential oil blend, a Thieves household cleaner sample, and just some other goodies for you as well. And that's $160. Um, the oil starter kit is anywhere from 165 to 265, depending on your choice of diffuser. So those are two really great ways to get started. But when you get started with your account, what does that mean? Well, we've all created accounts before, Amazon, Zappos, whatever, Nordstrom, what have you. Um, 
We've all created accounts before. And so you create your own account and you get your kit, it gets shipped to your house, and then you log in whenever you want to place an order. So you do not have to be on Essential Rewards. Essential Rewards program is an amazing program, but you can just log on in two months, in six months, whatever, and place your order. You get 24% off retail prices, um, which is a, kind of a no-brainer, right? But then really, as you become more interested in detoxing your home and living a natural, more natural lifestyle, joining Essential Rewards is a perfect opportunity to do that for all the reasons that Kelly just described. Um, so you get access to our uh, VIP Facebook groups that are private with lots of, well, our, about 2,000 people, and then you have access to other groups as well. Um, a resource gift from whoever got you started. And uh, it's just a really great way to be part of our community. And that is one of the biggest benefits, um, surprise benefits that I think all of us in here have had is the people that we meet and all of us presenting tonight, we don't all live in the same state and that's okay. We can learn different hacks from each other and we can ask questions. Hey, I've got this going on. What do you think works? Blah, 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 blah. It's a super fun community. And I have been talking recently to so many people who are frustrated with dealing with battles of infertility, de dealing with being unable to lose weight, dealing with children that are constantly sick, dealing with food allergies, dealing with um, asthma and breathing issues, dealing with thyroid and endocrine system issues. And as I'm having these conversations with people, the conversation always comes back to chemicals in the home. And using Young Living, the these products we talked about tonight, using the essential oils, making your own products, whatever floats your boat is a really, really great way to help you get those chemicals out of your home that can help your whole family become, live a healthier and more, more vibrant life. So we're putting the um, sign up links in there for you. And another benefit that you get from having your account is everyone gets a referral number. Your member number is a referral number. And it's a great way to help get your kit paid for. You could refer a few friends, you get some money from Young Living and your kit's essentially free. Um, you can share casually, you know, your best friend, your mom, whoever, or you can build a thriving business. I'm gonna put the income disclosure in there as well that could create residual income that could literally change your family's life for generations to come. So with that simple referral number, you can not share at all, share super casually, or build a thriving business, and it's all there within the same account. And so that's a really, really neat feature of Young Living. Um, but we are super excited that you joined us here tonight. Be sure um, you can have, you can, ask questions in the comments, the chat, et cetera. We'll be picking winners for the giveaway tomorrow night. Um, three, what did I say earlier? I think I said three or four. I'll do four. Four surprise winners will win um, some surprise gifts. So if you have any questions, let us know. And if you registered for the webinar, you'll be getting this recording sent to you as well. Have a lovely evening. All right, bye everybody.